He is the law. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege of Deluxe Class Barricade. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, in the back, we have some assemblage going on there. Siege War for Cybertron, his name is Barricade Transformers. On the side of the box, as usual, the lovely Siege artwork. On the other side of the box, we have some nice artwork there of Barricade looking all mean and nasty and about to do bad things to, to, to good people. He's a deluxe classic, classic, deluxe classic, 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 On the top, Transformers, Warp Cybertron Trilogy, on the bottom words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. Come back here. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other things and stuff, stuff and things, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a buddy Kato, and he is a recolor, slight remold of Prowl. And as you can see, he is a police car, an evil police car. And we're getting close here, so we can take a look at the details. You have a Decepticon symbol right up front. You have some silver there for the headlights. You do have some of that uh, kind of battle damage weathering just on the uh, front fender section there. On either side, that's all the uh, weathering, all the battle damage you get on this figure. Um, I love the gunmetal gray stripe they have going across the top here, even back here on the deck lid. I think that looks really cool. It's a very subtle contrast, but it works. Works very well for me, and I really like that. And you can see the nice trans clearance purple plastic with silver underneath it, so it really pops. Love that. And the light bar, also done in that transclearing purple plastic with some red paint in the middle there. You can see on that side, you can see the red paint there. So you get a little bit of a pop there of color as well. The wheels are also done in that purple plastic. And right here it says whoop whoop, because that is the sound of the police. And the back, and there is the top, and there is the bottom. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with his wave mates, Mirage. Here he is with Impactor. And last but not least, here he is with Siege Prowl. And you can see, as far as the vehicle mode goes, uh, the only difference here is just in the coloration. So, there you go. So now let's talk about accessories. He does include some weaponry here. He gets these two guns going on. You can see the plastic has like a has like a purplish tint to it, this like purplish hue. And you get two of them, and you can plug them into these slots right here on the hood if you want. So you can have that going on. That's the thing you can do if you want to do it. Or if you want, they can connect together. You can see the interlocking tabs right there. You can just tab them together like that. And now you have one peg. And you can plug that onto the light bar. And you can have that going on if you want to. So hey, you have storage if you want storage. So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> so let's remove weapons put those off to the side and we shall begin now as you can guess the transformation is exactly the same as prowl you just want to come down here and bring out the arms and then just swing them out to the sides like so then open up the doors open up the doors and then we just kind of angle this up so we can extend the legular region like so split the legs now you just flip down the foot, flip out the heel, flip down the foot, flip out to the heel, and then rotate out to the waist. And there you have the lower body all done. Moving on to the upper body. We just unpeg this whole section here. You have those two pegs that just go right down there on either side. Undo that, come in here, flip out this panel and push this panel in and then we collapse all of this down and this panel will go into that gap right there and this just comes down over his head and we'll tab in right there 
and the door wings angle however you wish. And then all we do now is rotate the arm, swing it down, rotate, down. You can do what you want with those shoulder pads. You can have them like that. You can have them up. You can angle them. Me personally, I like to angle them out a little bit just to differentiate him a little bit there from Prowl. And we turn his noggin around. And there you go. There you have Barricade in his robot mode. And it's Prowl with a different head, but, you know, still looks good. I still like this mold, and uh, I think the color scheme definitely works quite well. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at this noggin. So there we have the new head sculpt here. Got some purple for the crest. Got some nice red for the eyes. The face also done kind of like a, uh, kind of like a, bron a bronzish, copperish kind of color. A little scowl going on there and everything, but... A nicely done head sculpt. And everything else is everything we've seen on Prowl. Nothing different molding wise on the body, just colors. And move up the back. Let's see. The old door wings. All that good stuff. Now, articulation wise, the head is, I believe, on a ball joint. You do get a little bit, a little bit of wiggly waggly, eh, a little bit up, a little bit of down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You got bicep rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. Again, the shoulder pads are on a hinge, so you can kind of angle those however you want. He has waist rotation. Legs can go. Forward, that far, back, that far, outward, you can do the full splits, you got thigh rotation, you have full range of movement there at the knee, do true transformation, and the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you have the ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his weaponry, we can give him the guns, and a couple things you can do with the guns, we can plug them into each hand, like so. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, or if you want, you can combine the guns and have him holding a double barreled blaster there. So you can pew pew and bang bang simultaneously, or you can split them apart and you can plug them here onto his shoulders. So you can have the shoulder guns. So a couple different options here. If you want to do it, as always, options are what? Are what? They're good. And the light bar, just like on Prowl, you can't remove the light bar because reasons are our ports. Like on the guns, I don't know, you can do that if you want to. I don't know. Hey, hey, you know, things, things and stuff, stuff and things. You can plug it onto his shoulder or something. Do that. I don't know. I don't know. You can plug the guns on his shoulders too. You know, that's also a thing you can do if you want to do it. Do all kinds of that. Do all kinds of things and stuff. Stuff and things, put it on his forearm, just because, because forearm things, I don't know. Hey, whatever you want to do, as always, your toy, display it however you wish. And of course, you can use the Siege Effects parts on him, or bring in my favorites, the one that come with Jetfire. And those have posts on his shoulders, so you can get blooshed, you can get blooshed in the shoulder, you can have him getting blooshed in the forearm. Oh, that one doesn't stay in too well, but. Theoretically, you can get you can get blushed in the forearm. All kinds of blushing to be done. You can, oops, you can plug them onto his heels there, so you can blush into space. You can do all kinds of blushing there, or if you want, you can just plug back in. Hey, or if you want, and I think this is the best thing to do personally. You can plug these onto his shoulder guns here. And just have a big old double bloosh. He can bloosh. It fell. <laughs> but still, there is blooshing. There is blooshing to be had. So, anyway. so there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Mirage with Impact Horror, with 
Megs. And last but not least, here he is with his mold mates. Prowl! Well, as you can see, the only difference is in the coloration, different heads, obviously different weapons. But otherwise, the same figure. And yes, duh, if you want to, you can take these weapons and plug them onto Prowl shoulders if you want to. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do them. Hey, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. So, so, stand man. So, there you go. So there you have Barricade, and uh, this is just this is just wrong place, wrong time. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, Barricade, um, you know, he is just a recolor with a new head, but I do like this mold, so I don't mind buying it a second time. And plus, Barricade's my homeboy, so I had to get Barricade anyway. But I like this mold. I do like what they did as far as the coloration goes on this figure. I think it looks really good. And just like with Prowl, he is a fun, playable figure. I like him, so. There you go. Now, if you like this or any other Siege toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege at Lux Class Barricade. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Oh, barricade. Ah, prowl. So, uh, do we have to do the whole good cop, bad cop thing? Eh, I guess. You know what? I really don't feel like doing that today. Can we just do indifferent cop and more indifferent cop? Yeah, sure, we can do that. Okay. Um, stop in the name of the law. If you want to, it doesn't really matter. No, no, I'll do whatever you want to do. I don't care either way. No, no, I'll do whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter to me. Will you two fight? This is supposed to be a war. I'll throw you. You know I can do it. Nah, throw me, don't throw me. I don't care. Yeah, what he said.